In this movie, you're going to do a little bit of homework. This is Report Exercise 1, Revenue by Client by Product Report. Using our test database, you are going to take what you've learned so far and design a fairly complex report. Here are the tables involved. The Revenue underscore Transaction table, Customer table, Product table, and Office table. This is where knowing your database comes in handy. You really need to understand the relationships in these tables in order to join them effectively and know what you can and cannot join effectively. However, I've decided to help you out here. Otherwise, it's kind of a pointless exercise. The joins are as follows. Join the revenue transaction client number to the customer client num field. Then join the revenue transaction prod number to the product prod number field. Then join the Revenue Transaction Site to Office, Office Num field. Normally your DBA or system expert can help you with these relationships. So in your own case, if you don't have one of those guys, you've got some work to do. The fields you're going to pull in are Revenue underscore Amount and Revenue Date. Then you're going to pull in Client. Then you're going to pull in Description, Group, and Division. Since this is a small database, I'm going to let you figure out which fields belong to which tables. It won't take you very long. Just looking at the screen in the Select Expert or the Report Wizard shouldn't take you more than five seconds. Continuing right along, now we come to the purpose of the report. That helps you define almost the layout, the grouping, and the other elements you're going to need. You're going to show the revenue mounts by client, by product group, and by description but only for the years 2005 and 2006, and only for the East and West divisions. This requires you to use different types of filters and to group multiple levels. Last but not least, the design and layout. You're definitely going to want to use grouping. You can either do that in the report wizard or after the fact, it's up to you. But I also want you to highlight those values less than 500K for a given client. The actual overall design and look are up to you. For this purpose, you don't really need to show the actual detail. But just keep in mind some of the tips we discussed earlier about the eye being able to follow the data, especially in multiple levels and multiple groups. As they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I'm going to leave this up to your own sense of artistic ability or design. Unfortunately, I myself have never won any design awards, but that hasn't stopped me from creating at least somewhat decent reports. So. Hopefully, you can take what you've learned up to this point and create this report here. Now, keep in mind, I know we haven't gone over joining three tables, four tables, but really, joining those are pretty much almost the same as joining one or two. You just have to understand the relationships between all the tables. In the next lesson, we'll cover the solution to this report exercise.